Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bypass the 2 gigabyte limit for file storage on dev mode only. Currently, as of recording, retail mode has not been surpassed and the same method cannot be used because Microsoft has blocked it on retail mode. You can't access that directory, no matter what. So, on dev mode, the first thing you want to do is on your Xbox One, if you just installed RetroArch, run it first. You got to make sure all those files uh, show up on your Xbox first before you FTP into it or whatever. Because if, if not, nothing's going to be there. So the first thing you want to do, you want to start RetroArch after you install RetroArch, obviously. Okay? Now, before you do anything here, just quit Quit out of RetroArch. Now, you see this? <laughs> Dev mode ain't there, so press guide, press home, and I'll switch over. It's a little uh, tip for you. Go to it. Now, the first step let this load, and then go over here and press start. Go to manage dev storage, and you see this slider here. You can change this all the way to the max. You might have more space than me, or you might not want, you know, at max. You can choose whatever you want, and then hit save, and then press A to restart. I'm going to cancel it because I've already set the amount, but I'll show you that it moves over the 4 gig game so you can see that it is right, and I didn't make this up, so... I'm going to cancel out of that. Okay, now after that's done, go back to Launch Home and switch over to your PC. Now, I'm going to switch over to my PC, bring up Device Portal. Alright, hopefully you guys can see this. Yes, it looks like it. Okay, first thing you want to do, connect to your IP. Remember, it's a local. Go to File Explorer, go to Browse. Highlight this at the bottom. Go to right click, copy, go to start menu, type in CMD, go to command prompt. Now right click on your mouse and hit enter. See, it should say that. And then close out of this. Grab this. Uh, link or whatever it is here go down to your file manager on your PC click this bar at the top paste it here press enter then go to Windows apps go to the one that says 1e4 CF 179 and then make sure it says x64 open that up and this is where your cores are you can add cores if you want that's like a little thing to know <laughs> if you want to add your own cores this way. Um, also, what you want to do is uh, right click, go to new, and then folder, call it ROMs. So it's there. Uh, and then what you want to do is uh, go on your hard drive and transfer over your game. All right, after you get your game, what you want to do is you want to right click it, copy or move, it's up to you. Go over here, see this is my Xbox, it's a new directory, and since I switched dev mode storage size, I right click and I just hit paste. Now, if you didn't have the right, um, if you had the 2 gig limit, they would not even move anything over. So, 3.5. 3,520, you know, megabytes of of a file will not move over. So I'm just gonna let this go, and I'll see you guys after this is done. All right, after this game is done transferring, what you want to do is you want to move over your BIOS for the system that we're gonna test on PS2. So in order to do that, just hook up your uh, USB, put this 
on there if, if it's not already. Put it on there and I'll meet you over on the Xbox side. All right, when you're on your Xbox One, what you want to do to make it work is go to Dev Home. Remember, if it ain't there, press Guide and go to Home. Go to Dev Home and then scroll down or whatever. Go down to RetroArch, press the back button. I call it back button because the original Xbox. Go to View Details, press A on this, switch to game. Now press B. Now go up here again. If it's not here, go here and then go to games. It'll now show up here. Open up RetroArch. Once it's open, the first thing you want to do when you just get RetroArch is go to Online Updater, Update Core Info Files, and Update Assets. I'm not going to do assets in this tutorial, but you guys get the idea. Wait for it to get done downloading and extracting. It could take a while depending on if you're downloading uh, with slow internet, obviously, but the the Xbox has slow extracting too. so. Assets will take a while. Then close out of RetroArch. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to My Files Explorer and move over my BIOS. So download and install that. Open this up. Now the first thing you want to do, always go to Add Folder to Library. Choose your Xbox first. Press the Back button go to select and then do that for your external hard drive as well add folder to library I'm just gonna do it to the one USB that I got I know it says two but I got two partitions so press back button and go to select there you go if you don't do that then files on your USB won't show up everything it'll just show the folders so, the first thing you want to do is I'm going to open up this, PC Backup, BIOS RetroArch. I'm going to go down to PS2, and I'm going to press Start. I'm going to copy this folder, and then I'm going to go to Isolated Storage. <laughs> I know where it is. Packages, 24, Local State. Then I'm going to go under System. Paste it here. All right, once it's done, press guide button, go back to home. I'm going to close out of this, it's up to you. Go back to RetroArch. Alright, after RetroArch is loaded, what you want to do is go to Settings, then go up at the top, go to Directory, all the way to, it's all the way down, but I went up. <laughs> go to Directory. Now look for where it says File Browser. Change the default location, press A on it. Go to a Drive S on the original Xbox One. I don't know what it is on the series console, so you're going to have to forgive me. But S. And then what you want to go to is Program Files. Windows App. Then you want to go to X64. ROM. Use this directory. Now back out of this, back to main menu, and go to quit, go to save, or go to configuration file, save current configuration. Alright, now that that's set, go to load content, go to start directory, and there's your game. Just press A on it, and it'll launch. Oh, well, choose the core, but yeah. <laughs> Here's the car, then it will launch. So we'll wait for that to launch up.
So there you go, it's launching up. This is Sonic. I don't know why it's currently in Japanese language though. That that isn't something I figured out yet. But for the sake of the tutorial, <laughs> that is it. That is how you bypass two gigabyte limit and play your games on dev mode. Again, there's no way to bypass this currently as of recording. Uh, retail uh, 16 gigabyte retail storage, but I hope this helps the minimal of 2 gig limit on dev mode because that's horrible. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.